Good morning, my friends. Y'all, pray for me, please. Not for my health this time, but for my brain. Mostly pray rebuking Satan. Satan is attacking me. I have been up since 1 o'clock. I went to bed early. I was tired. I went to bed early. And I was wide awake at 1 o'clock. I have been reading the Bible and praying. I've got several things that I want to do videos on that God, through the Holy Spirit, has given me the last few years that just really helps me a lot. Some, some of the teachings just blows my socks off. And I wanted to share all of that with you. I've alluded to all of it in videos. I just haven't sat down and gathered scriptures to show you what the Holy Spirit has given me. And I know that you, my friends, will love it whenever I can get my act together and compile it to give to you. <clears throat> Satan is after me today like he has not been in a long time. And I don't know why. I, I don't know. But me doing my research, and I am good at doing research, but me doing my research today has turned up nothing. I will put a topic, a one word, in the search bar, tell it to search for that topic in King James Version Scriptures. Y'all, every time, every topic, it doesn't matter what topic, every time I request a search, it has given me scriptures all over the place that has absolutely nothing to do with what I requested. Every topic I put in there, it's done that. So Satan has got control of the internet right now. And that frustrates me. I used to have an old book, a big book, Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. <clears throat> and when it went online, I gave away the book to somebody that didn't use the internet. I wish I had it back now. <laughs> because goodness gracious, y'all. I, I can't find anything from 1 o'clock until now, and it is 11.30. So for uh, 10 hours, 10 and a half hours, I have got zero. I wanted to refer to a topic with you in the four books of the gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I know that topic is covered in all four books, but my old brain can't remember exactly where in each one of those books, and I don't have time to read them all right now to do a manual search by reading. So I went to the internet and asked it to find that topic in Matthew and that topic in Mark and that topic in Luke and that topic in John. <laughs> it didn't give me anything, nothing. If I had my hardback Strong's Concordance I can find it. It's not as fast 
is punching a few buttons on the computer but the computer is messed up right now it's it's not the computer the computer's fine it's the internet that's messed up and i'm sure satan has something to do with that y'all you know i have read from more than one source the last few days that amazon the big company, the worldwide company, is paying, well, it started, let me back up a little bit. I have a friend on YouTube, well, not a personal friend, just somebody I follow on YouTube, who was on the Jan Markell Olive Tree Ministries channel, a day or two ago and he writes books and he does interviews on YouTube a lot and he was saying that his new book which he uses Amazon for his publisher and they sell his books they publish the book but now they won't put it on line to sell because it's Christian related and they don't like the topic. They took his order like they always did. He paid to get it published. He paid to get X number of books printed. And now they refuse to sell it. I have heard and read in several different places lately that Amazon is buying the rights to many books and then taking them off the market. And those books just ironically are Christian related books. So, the work of Satan is extremely strong in the world right now, and I don't like it. I want out of here, y'all, and I know you do too. And I got something I want to read to you. that I came up with on my own kind of addressing this topic and hoping it will wake up and alert a few people to the times we live in and what everybody needs to do. Y'all, I'm serious. I'm serious as a heart attack. Time is running out. And I got on a hat y'all never saw before. I hadn't wore this hat probably in two years. I like it. It's, I think, I'm not sure, but I think it's the most expensive hat I got. I got it on a clearance sale at half price. I think it was seven hundred dollar hat, and I got it for three fifty. So, sticker price was the most expensive hat I got. Price I actually paid is the cheapest, because <laughs> most of the hats I have were five hundred dollars or five twenty five, but this one was three fifty. Regular price seven hundred. But anyway. And it's comfortable. And I got it on only because I'm freezing. I've got on a shirt under here. And I've got on this. This is not a hoodie, but it's a sweatshirt. Fleece. Heavy fleece. And it's warm. But I'm still cold, y'all. And I got the heater cranked up. I don't know what's the matter. It's just cold. The wind is blowing hard. That probably has something to do with that. And it's raining also. That makes it a wet cold. Snow's coming tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to that. I, I got the truck parked in the garage. I 
washed it and got it all polished up pretty several days ago and stuck it in the garage and it's just going to stay there till all this mess is over. I'm not going to get it out and drive it on wet streets or snowy streets and when they put the salt down it doesn't go anywhere near a street because I won't do that to my vehicle. Anyway, let me give you what I got for you, y'all. And, and I'm going to keep digging and researching. I, I'm tempted to go online. Matter of fact, I better go online. I've been delaying buying a new Bible. You know, this one here is about to fall apart. I have to hold it together every time I pick it up. And it's the only King James Bible I got left. I gave away the others I had, and I won't read anything else. I've also got one New American Standard. Well, it's in the living room. And I've got two New King James Bibles. And I just, I'll use them for reference, and that's all. I won't, I don't study for them from them and I don't share from them I do use them for reference but I want a new King James Bible I've just been delaying buying one because the rapture is imminent and why buy a new Bible if it's if I'm going to get raptured out out of here in the next day or two but I've been delaying for several weeks I need to just go ahead and buy one and I think I'm going to go ahead and buy a concordance too also before Amazon takes those off the market and any other Christian book that I think I might want or need, I'm going to go ahead and buy because Amazon is going crazy. Yep, they are. I said it. And it's the truth. Let me give you what I got. And this is from me. It's not from research I did online. Because online ain't working today. Goodness gracious. I never have trouble researching. It's just everything I researched for today. It gave me stuff that didn't have anything to do with what I was wanting. It's just crazy. At, for for example, I, I want to share with you about the Holy Spirit. I want to go into detail about the Holy Spirit. And I did a search, and I don't remember the exact search I did, but it's something like um, the role of the Holy Spirit in our lives, something like that. And any scripture that had the word holy in it, and any scripture that had the word spirit in it, that's what it gave me. And it gave me several websites that had articles written about the role of the Holy Spirit. And I checked those out, and they are so far off what the Bible says that I, I wouldn't dare share them. So I don't have a study on the role of the Holy Spirit. I have amassed a lot of scriptures and I'm going to share those scriptures with you. But first I've got to check all the scriptures and there's a lot. And then I'll do that study a few verses at a time until we get through it. And I'm on probably my, I think it's my fifth cup of coffee. Because usually my research, bam, 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 pops up exactly what I wanted. And I get online and do a video. It's not working today. <laughs> and so during all this frustration, I've been drinking coffee 
one cup after another. And usually two cups is the max that I do in a day. I drink one or two cups of coffee and then I drink water all the rest of the day. I drink a lot of water. Today, I think this is my fifth cup of coffee. <laughs> one, I don't know why, really, because I'm cold. It keeps me warm and it wakes me up. And the internet has been so frustrating. I think maybe it helps calm me down a little bit too. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, bon appetit, y'all. And my coffee cups, the 10 that I bought and paid for, are ready. And I reckon they didn't say, they just sent me a picture that they're ready. They're, they're made and ready to ship. So I reckon they'll be shipped out very soon. So if you want one, let me know. They're $15. I don't make a penny off of them. I'm not selling them. Uh, I wasn't going to sell them at all. Some friends made me this and gave it to me. And I took a picture of it, showed y'all, and several of you wanted them. So I ordered 10. And if anybody else wants one, 15 bucks. And I'll pay the postage no matter where you live. And then several said they don't drink coffee or tea, but they wanted the same message, same picture on a t-shirt. So I found a t-shirt maker and they've got both images on their computer. I don't know how all that stuff works, but they're ready to print those messages on t-shirts that y'all request that some of y'all requested but you've got to tell them or tell me what size because they can't just print it on some size guessing at what size you want or need and send me 15 bucks the t-shirts are 15 also, and again, I don't make one penny on it, and I will pay the postage on that too. So you're getting a heck of a deal, and the t-shirts, they come in multiple colors. The person that's going to be making the, those t-shirts sent me a picture of all the colors that they come in, I have posted that at my community page here at YouTube along with the picture that's on it. They took both pictures and put it on the front of the t-shirt. So if y'all want a t-shirt, go there and tell me what size. And you're going to have to connect with me at Facebook also to pay uh, I've got a Facebook page with the same name as my YouTube channel hanging out with Stan go there send me a private message through messenger and we'll get that all worked out and I will pay postage on the cups and on the t-shirts but you've got to pay for the cup you got to pay for the t-shirt if you want them if you don't that's fine you know, I didn't ever set out to sell any of that. Y'all started asking for it when I showed you the picture of my coffee cup. So if you really want them, let's get this ball rolling. I've invested over a hundred bucks already uh, in coffee cups out of my pocket. And I don't need... 12 coffee cups. <laughs> so so y'all, come on. And the t-shirts, I hadn't paid anything. They're going to be paid for by y'all when, when you order them. But you got to tell them what size. Let me give you what I've got here. And this is from the first book of Mark. 
King James Version is the only version I use, y'all. Y'all listen to this. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare the way before thee. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his paths straight. John did baptize in the wilderness and preach the baptism of repentance for the remission of of sins. Repent. For the remissions of your sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea and they of Jerusalem and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan confessing their sins, and dear friend, we all are heinous sinners. We all need to repent. Somebody recently said, once you're saved, you don't have to repent anymore. Friends, wake up and get real. Just because we or save doesn't mean we stop sinning. We're going to sin till the day we die. And we need to repent of every sin we commit until the day we die. And then we will sin no more. <clears throat> and John was clothed with camel's hair and with a girdle of a skin about his loins and he did eat locusts and wild honey and preached, saying, y'all think I'm <laughs> radical with my garb that I wear. How would you like it if I was clothed with camel's hair and a girdle of a skin about his loins and ate locusts and honey? Hmm? So I'm not so radical after all, am I? And he preached, saying, There cometh one mightier than I after me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and loose. Wonder who he was talking about. I indeed have baptized you with water, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Now you know. And, and y'all, some of y'all are saying you've never been baptized in the Holy Spirit. If you're saved, you've been baptized in the Holy Spirit. Many, though, who say they're saved really are not saved. That was me for 51 years. You don't get baptized in the Holy Spirit until you're saved. And then... You're baptized in the Holy Spirit. I just pray that you're saved and you need to check the condition of your soul and be sure. Because time is running out uh, very rapidly. You need to do that right now. Make sure you're saved. And if you're not saved, right now is the day of salvation. Right now, not this afternoon, not this evening, not tonight, right now, because there may not be an afternoon or evening or night. Nobody but God himself knows. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized of John in Jordan. And straight away, coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens open and the Spirit 
like a dove descended upon him. The spirit is not a bird. The spirit is not a dove. It said the spirit like a dove descending upon him. And there came a voice from heaven saying, Thou art my beloved son and whom I am well pleased. And immediately, and let me stop there a minute. That was God speaking about Jesus, saying he was very pleased with Jesus and what he did. Jesus has chosen his children. He has adopted us Gentiles into his family. But we're sinners. Sinners cannot enter heaven. Sinners can't even come close to heaven. So a sacrifice had to be made on our behalf because of the sins that we commit. And the only acceptable sacrifice had to come from a non-sinner. The only non-sinner that ever lived was Jesus. He lived his full life as a man just like me, just like you men, without sin. That is hard to fathom for me because I am such a sinner. But thank God he has changed me and made me into a new man. Thank God, thank God, thank God for that. And he'll do the same for you if you're serious about it. And immediately the spirit driveth him into the wilderness. And if you're questioning your salvation or if you know you're not a Christian, I will give you what you got to do to become one at the end of this video. So stick around. And he was there in the wilderness 40 days, tempted of Satan, and was with the wild beast, and the angels ministered unto him. Now after that, John was put in prison. Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. So you got John and Jesus preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. And saying, Jesus, Jesus talking here, saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. One of y'all, and it was not a regular viewer of mine, or not a regular commenter at my videos, made a comment to one of my videos recently said we do not have to repent of our sins y'all that is words from satan that is not biblical right here jesus himself said the kingdom of god is at hand repent ye and believe the gospel that's Jesus himself telling us to repent and believe. I left that comment up. Usually wacko comments like that I will delete because I don't want anybody to be led astray. But I addressed his comment biblically and I left it up for others to read the stupidity in the world. People are dumb. People are ignorant regarding God's holy word. And it's because Satan has blinded them to the truth. 
But Jesus and the Holy Spirit is stronger, way stronger than Satan. So I pray that people's eyes are opened and illuminated to the truth. And I guarantee you, you're not going to get anything but the truth here from me. Basically, what I do, if you're new to my channel, is I read you God's holy word. It does not lie. It cannot lie. I give very little commentary. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a teacher. Just an old ball-headed redneck that loves Jesus and shares the gospel. So I do, give, I do give some commentary, but not much. And the commentary I give, I guarantee you, it aligns perfectly with God's holy word. Now as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. Y'all listen to this now. Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you become fishers of men. This is a part I want you to listen to now. And straight away, they forsook their nets and followed him. Y'all, they made their living, their livelihood was fishing, catching and selling fish. Jesus called them to follow him and straight away they forsook their nets that they made their living with and followed him. And what is your excuse for not following him? And when he had gone a little further thence, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who also were in the ship, mending their nets. They also were fishermen. Their nets had become damaged. They were in their boat mending their nets and straight away Jesus called them and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with the hired servants and followed Jesus again more men who were fishermen called by Jesus, straight away left their livelihood and followed Jesus. So I ask you again, what is your excuse for not following him? You don't have the faith or the trust to follow him? You don't trust him? You don't believe him? First Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 through 4 shows us the gospel. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and read it to you. I think I can quote it verbatim, but I don't want to mess up one word, give you one word that's not there, or omit one word that is there. 
So hang on a minute, 1 Corinthians. Fifteen one through four. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I have preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand. That's where we need to be standing, y'all. By which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preach unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that, listen, Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. I told you, it took a perfect, unblemished, sin-free sacrifice for the remission of our sins and Jesus was the only unblemished perfect sacrifice because he never sinned so it said Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures Jesus died for our sins at the cross. Three days later, he arose. He's alive today. Acts chapter 16, verse 31 says believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved there's no works you gotta do to be saved what works did the fishermen do none Jesus called them they believed in him and they followed him. There is no works we can do to be saved, y'all. Jesus himself did all the work necessary on the cross, being buried, raising, rising from the grave, alive today. Jesus did all the work. All we got to do is believe. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. All right, y'all. That's that. And y'all do pray for me because I got so much in my noggin that I want to share with you. But I need scripture back up to go with it because I'm not just going to give you thoughts from my head. I'm going to back up anything and everything I give you with God's holy word. And without a concordance, I can't do it. And the internet's not giving it to me now. So, it's time for Jesus to come for his bride, in my opinion. But y'all, you need to be saved before that. The rapture is imminent. could happen at any moment. And things happening in the world, prophecy being fulfilled as we sit here together. Time is running out. The rapture could be today. Don't know. Don't have any idea. But it's got to be soon. God bless you, dear friends. And I'll be back later today. I've got three or four videos I've got to get done because time is of the essence. God bless you.